Hello guys and welcome back to more Legon on the Force Nines YouTube channel. Uh, continuing the Leon save today in FM 2015 and today it's a pretty big game. Uh, well I say that but not as big as it could have been because Leon um, were doing very well in the, the league and they've slipped off the pace a bit it seems. We haven't. We were third um, in the last live come I think maybe second. We're now top. Uh, we're leading by a point to uh, Marseille, who are in second. Who have dropped more points than I thought they would. Um, but Lille have dropped, dropped even more. We're now seven points clear of third place Marseille. We can now finish anywhere down to 11th, which I, we won't. We just won't. But yeah, with uh, 10 games left, we're a point ahead of second. And we're seven ahead of third. And we're 13 points ahead of fourth. So we are pretty much going to get Champions League football this season but I want that league title because I know we can get it this season and we're getting we're getting there Lille have actually done been doing very poorly as you can see you know they haven't what well that match against Dijon was their first league win in four I believe they beat La Havre they drew against Rennes and San Setien and Bastia lost 2-1 to Len and then, well, more recently, they lost 4-1 to Marseille. So they've really dropped a lot of points. And they've had a really poor start to the to 2017. Still in the Coupe de France. They're into the semi-final of that now. Um, we still have to play our quarter-final match against PSG. Because they had a Europa League knockout match to play. So um, that got postponed. So we will be uh, playing that off-screen. I won't be doing it live. Uh, and we're also actually through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We defeated Dynamo Kiev 1-0 on aggregate. Um, I'll go through the schedule now just um, to look at it. Last live come we did, uh, we faced La Avra and we won 2-1. Kony with an early red card. He looked like he was booked for a deliberate handball. And um, yeah, that was his second yellow card. Uh, but we won 2-1. So look at the five games I played off screen. So in the game against Dynamo Kiev, well, the first leg... Um, we had a nil-nil draw in Ukraine, which wasn't a bad result. But you know, if we'd have got a, sc a score draw at home, that would have knocked us out. So I would have liked to have had a score draw if we were going to draw. But it ended nil-nil. Um, I'll skip straight ahead to the second leg where we won one-nil. Um, a red card for each. Um, our goal came from uh, Nika, who uh, scored from a, a is it a rebound? I can't actually remember if it was or not. Even though I literally played this like 15 minutes ago. But yeah, Nika scored the goal. Uh, Belhanda got sent off for Kiev at the start of the second half and then uh, Nika got sent off for his second yellow card with about 10 minutes left of normal time but we saw it out and we got a 1-0 win and we went through 1-0 on aggregate uh, in the league we won our three matches but Ren, well um, this was a pretty stressful match um, to say the least even though we did come out with the win we were 2-0 down after 20, 24 minutes Paul George and Tep scoring at two goals in six minutes to put them 2-0 ahead. Uh, we pulled one back just before half-time. Sam Mamtiti with a goal in uh, the third minute of injury time in the first half. Uh, and then, well, we actually went out with a 3-2 victory in the end. Alawai Hussein scored, I believe, his first goal for the club. Um, first senior goal, anyway. Yes. It was his first senior goal for the club um, to make it 2-2. Uh, and then... Uh, as you can see, Vissan Ben Yedda got a winner. Um, that was his first goal since he scored his uh, hat-trick against Nancy. He hadn't actually scored since. Uh, and he got the winner in the end, so that's good to see. Then in their own derby, um, well, <laughs> as you can see, again, Bakary Kone got sent off. This time it was for a second yellow card, but that's his second yellow. Se it's his second sending off in as many games. So I find him a week's wages and he moaned about it. Uh, I'm TT with another goal here, and then Lacazette also scoring. Two goals in four minutes, giving us a nice 2-0 win against our own rivals. Uh, and then we won 1-0 against Basti. We left it very, very late in this match. And it wasn't a terrible performance. We just couldn't find a way through. Uh, in the end, it was the 93rd minute. Dino Hililovic getting the only goal in the game. So with three victories, we're now actually top of League 1. Uh, Marseille's uh, performances, I think they've had a lot of wins. Um, they lost to uh, Bastia, and then that's what made us go top. We beat Ren to go top, and we almost lost it, so we really could have blown a chance to go top. But we've got a point advantage now, but today's game we're against Lille, so uh, it's not going to be easy. Um, their remaining games, so that's what they've got left, Marseille. There are some hard games there. They've still got to pace, face PSG and Monaco again, and they're facing us in um, a little while as well. So they've got some hard games coming up. As for Lille, what do they have coming up? 
because they are still, you know, they're still very much in the mix, even though they have dropped a lot of points. See, they've got facing us today. They've still got to face Monaco and PSG as well. And then our remaining fixtures. So we're facing Lille. Um, we're facing Marseille again. We've got to face Monaco again. We've already faced PSG twice, I believe. 3-3. Three, because three. we faced them right at the start. And 3-1. Yeah, so we don't have to face PSG again. But there's still some tough games in there. Montpellier, even though they're close to relegation, believe it or not. Um, they're still a good team. So Montpellier, I don't know what's happened to Montpellier. Why is it not doing that? There we go. Where have they gone? Montpellier, yeah. They're in 17th. They're close to relegation. I mean, you know, they won the league in 2012. And now they're almost getting relegated. They've had a really topsy-turvy few years. So that's really, you know, really strange. Uh, looking at our squad... Um, have we got unavailable filtered out? Yes, we have. We'll just unfilter that and see what we got. So, Kone suspended for this match because he got sent off. He actually, actually has to miss two matches because it was his second red card. Uh, and Renbar has been injured. He's close to coming back with um, broken ribs. Lacazette is now back from his uh, hamstring tear. Marco Asensio is injured, but he's been a bit in poor form. So, to be honest, I probably won't miss him. He had a sprained ankle and he's got another four to ten days left. Of that, Pae, I don't play. There's our backup goalkeeper who's injured, and Nate Benassi, who's another backup player, was also close to um close to a return. Um, it's also early March, so regens have come in, and if we have a look at our um, well our under nineteen squad now, looking at the guys with potential. So guys that came in in our regens, we had three players that could have five star potential. Sambo Kiate is one of them, fifteen year old right back. And those physicals already are looking good. You know, mentally, he's got some good mental stats as well. So that's excellent to see. I'm really excited. I, I do, if I do continue the save long term, I do want to be able to use this guy at right back. You know, he's only 15 at the moment, but he's got some good stuff going for him there. Other people that came in, Laurent Delacroix, uh, he's a left back. Again, some good physicals. And again, mentally, not as high as um, the guy before, Kiate, but brave, good decision making, decent work rate. And he can run with the ball as well. Could be a good wing-back, Delcra. Other guys that came in, I believe Bulgaria was one that came in in this window. He's 14, so he's got even longer. And he looks even better. I mean, fitness, 16. Balance, 15. Stamina, 13. Physicals, mentals, look pretty pretty solid. Even some of those technical ones look. 16 first touch for a 14-year-old. Long shots, dribbling, passing. That's a playmaker, that is. That's a real playmaker. So we've got some excellent prospects here. As you can see, in our under-19s, we have five players who could have five-star potential. That's amazing. So we're looking good for the future. Well, I'm glad I've got a team with such good youth facilities. These players here won't be doing anything. Um, these guys here all came in, and, yeah, they're just not going to be good enough. So, uh, But, yeah, our um, head of youth development insisted that we give them all contracts, um, which is a good thing because it stops us having those weird grayed-out players, which I don't like seeing. They're an eyesore, if anything. So yeah, um, so that's our team. Then we had a look at our um, youth intake as well. So let's go on to today's game. We're at home. Today's game. We're at home against Lille. Marseille also have a tough game. They're away to Len, who have dropped down to sixth, but they're still, you know, looking pretty good. And they're looking good. They could get Europa League football this year. Um, so yeah, Monaco also they've climbed up to fifth, and uh, PSG I believe are fourth now. I think that's um, pretty much the top six. And our, well, I guess our main rivals, they they're, they could still win. They've got a lot of work to do, and we, they need to hope that we slip up badly. I hope we don't. So, today's team selection. Uh, I don't know what to go with. Um, I'm going to go to the Diamonds. We'll play Ben Yedda and Lacazette. I'll have Gorka from the hole. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't want Higazi at centre-back. Um, I'm going to put Gonal on back. We'll have Tolisso on for Higazi. Um, we want Hussein on. Uh, Kaufman's not looking good too good. We've got Ali, Farad Ali maybe. He's not. He's not a terrible youngster. I think. Yeah, I think we'll go with Ali, Prince Ali. <laughs> uh, for uh, Gomez. So like Rose and Bedimo, Hussein. Ali, Helilovic, Fakir, and Aldrain. 
I think De Jong is not quite there fit, fitness wise. He's been playing for um, a lot of reserves under 19s. There are, don't seem to be a lot at all of um, reserve games in this um, in this season. I don't know if like the um, French do have like a reserves league or an under 21 league or something. So I'm not quite sure why they don't actually play. We've got a lot of grayed out players here, but I don't think these guys actually play at all. I don't think there are actually any. Um, any reserve games? Actually, if we have a look at our reserve fixtures, yeah, it's just friendlies. They haven't played a match since January, so um, yeah, I don't know why that is. Like, I don't even I don't know if we just didn't enter a reserve team. I've no idea, but never mind. We'll submit the team. Um, I'm happy with it. Um, they're playing a straight four-five-one with a uh, Caicedo up front. They've got Thorgan Hazard as well, a guy that we missed out on actually in summer. Tried to sign him. Um, he was actually was he a free? I think he got released by Chelsea. He did. Yeah, he got released by Chelsea. So Lille snapped him up on a free transfer. Uh, we did also go in the market for him, but unfortunately he didn't accept our deal and he went to Lille, which is a shame because it looks like he's done pretty well for them. Other players they've got, they've got Zuccolini. Um, Rio Mavub is a decent player on this game. And Yama's a half-decent goalkeeper. I and mean, Casado, you know, he's a decent striker. Who have they got on the bench? Ben Arthur also plays for them. So they've got some decent players there. Uh, let's go to our team talk and we'll let the... let. Yeah, I don't think I've ever mentioned that my new assistant coach is Claude McAuley. I don't think I've mentioned that yet, which amazes me. I had a bit of a shuffle around in my backroom staff and got rid of some of the, you know, adequate coaches, if you like, and got some decent coaches. McAuley is a decent coach. Um, he hasn't got a lot of coaching badges. He's studying for his uh, National B license now, I believe. But um, he's got some decent um, attributes in his um, his mentals. So I thought he'd be good as a reserve coach. And he was interested as well. So, yeah. I don't think I ever mentioned the fact that, yeah, Makaleli's my uh, my um, assistant manager. My number two, if you like. Uh, Nika's got a throw in here. Korcha well, gives it back to him. Gives him another go. Kadira to Grognier. Have a shot. Lacazette. And it was blocked. Here's Casado, the Lille striker, to Zuccolini. Umtiti wins the ball back. Umtiti scored a couple more goals off screen. He now has five in all... No, six in all competitions. Only needs four more to equal what he got last season, which was ten. An amazing... Um, oh. Well, yeah. That's not amazing. Casado scores. Uh, and we're one nil down. We've got a point over Marseille. They're playing at the same time as us. So... Their scores will be popping up in the top right. And we'll see um, if they score or not. But we've gone 1-0 down here at home. Thorgan Hazard um, gets a left foot cross in. And Kaiseido is the first one to it. So a disappointing start. We're not even 10 minutes in. We're down. Nick with a throw in here. Well, I was going to say it was a poor throw. But Ben Yedder got on the end of it. Kadir with a shot. And that's a good goal. I think, did he did he ship in Yama there? Because that was heading straight for their goalkeeper. And he just didn't seem to do anything about it. I'll see the replay. I'm not sure if he tried to um, chip him. Ben Yedder was brought down. And Kadira. Well, it was kind of a chip. It looked like um, Yama got a hand to it. But um, it went in. It's 1-1. I'll take that. So only, well, we were 15 minutes in when that goal went in. So it's as you were, really. We'll just start again. And now he's picked up a knock. Fantastic. Uh, right, we need to bring him off. We're short on midfield options now. And Vern Barr's not fit. Ma Malbronk is no longer at the club. So, um... Right. I think it's going to have to be Hussein or Ali. Unless we bring back Fakir. But then we'll have two playmakers. I don't want that. What's Firad Ali like as a, you know, a central midfielder? It could pretty much play, well, the same... Um, same role as Kadira, so I'll do that. He's not the best with current ability, but I reckon he can do. I reckon he can do the, do the job. Fuad Ali, and it's another regen we're playing. So I'm, yeah. Usually I stop pit, stop start sort of playing regens around the third season, once they actually start getting good. You know, these guys are probably on current ability is probably about one star, one and a half star, and with potentials of like four, I think they need to start getting some game time at that point. Um, not doing too badly. It's still one apiece. Um, yeah. Ratings aren't terrible. Um, Taliso hasn't really done his job 
to any extent as a as an anchor man. But we've had more shots. Um, no, well, we had a couple of half chances, but that's it. Van Gironi on the left here for Lille. Can he get a ball in? He does, but Lopez holds on to it. Tony Lopez. I don't, I don't think he was looking for goal then, but Lopez just had to grab it there, really. Jokic hasn't done great at left back either. Um, and now Lacazette's exhausted. Um, I think our only striker out is on the drain, so I'm going to bring it back to um, 4 1 2 2 1. And we'll uh, put Fakir on for Lacazette. And we'll leave it there. And then that's two changes. And I don't want to make my last until at least 18 minutes in. Hopefully I won't have to make it at all. Because um, I don't want to have a late injury or something. About 17 minutes in. Still 1-1. One, one. We're still... We're still leading. So Marseille must not have actually... Um, must still be drawing. I haven't seen any goals pop up for them. So I don't know. Um, but it's still one apiece. I'm going to take... I don't want to take off Ben Yedder, No. I haven't got another... Well, I've got Aldrain. But he's not... Good enough to be playing up front by himself. Um, I'm going to bring on Helilovic of Gorkov because Gorkov's been a bit poor today as well. Hasn't been a great performance, to be honest. I think we're lucky to even get a point. But I think, you know, very much done a job down the right of the pitch, but I think Jokic at left back hasn't done great. And that's the result. 1-1 one, one draw. I'm not sure what I feel about that. I think we could... Well, we had a lot of shots, but they weren't great. I don't think we... No, I think we we could have and should have won that match. But fortunately, Marseille also lost. They lost to Len. As I well, I say that would be hard because Len are a good team this season. So we actually well, we're better off. Um, we're now two points ahead, um, and of course it's Lille that we beat. So um, we're in a, yeah, we're in a good position. We're now seven points ahead of Lille, even though we were. And there was a point, wasn't it? Yeah, of course it is. We've got the same number of points. I can't count. So, yeah, but yeah, we're still seven ahead of Marseille. And we're now two ahead of... Um, no, seven ahead of Lille. And now we're two ahead of Marseille. So, yeah, not a terrible result. Luckily, other results kind of fell our way. So, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. All round. Um, Kadira is injured. He's going to miss a couple of weeks of football. Which is a shame. But, um, right, we'll see what we can do with that. I'm hoping that Wembar is back before long so that's a bit that should be okay um yeah nika has had so many yellow cards it's ridiculous i think he's had maybe 13 yellows i didn't i might have just said but i didn't see yeah i forgot to mention that as well the i said we're in the quarterfinals of the champions league the team we drew in the quarterfinals is atletico madrid so it's going to start getting tough now not that Dynamo Kiev wasn't tough. But yeah, Atletico is a good a good team. We're unbeaten in 11 now in the League 1. So that's good as well. We're excellent. Um, when was the last time we actually lost in League 1? It looks like it was the Monaco game. Yeah, so we haven't lost in the League since the end of December it seems. Which it yeah, excellent. That's great. Really good. And then looking at our schedule. So what I'm probably going to do is Um so we've got Coupe de France quarter final coming up. Montpellier, Len. I think my next game will be against Len in between the uh, quarter final legs. And then uh, depending on if we get to any of the cup finals, it will be either the double live come at the end of the season or any finals that we have between then. I might do a Champions League semi-final if we make it. Let's see if we make it. So there might be a bit of a shorter gap between um, between videos in terms of how many games we play because of what we've got coming up. But um, we'll see. At least the good thing about having a smaller gap between games is that it's less for me to do off screen before I film the next one. So that's a good that's a good way of looking at it. But then more videos in the season means that you don't get as far as you would have liked, if that makes sense. Now if you have a bigger gap between um, games, like off screen, then 
it'll be fewer episodes to get through a season and you have more episodes you get more more years in if that makes sense i think i'm i'm waffling now um never mind okay so yeah next live come will be uh away against sixth place len hopefully by then we are still top we have three league games to play off screen including one against marseille so uh yeah i would like to play that live but to only play two games off screen i don't like to do that so i don't really like doing that so yeah next live call will be away against len uh and then after that we'll see i suppose after that will depend on how we do in the coupe de france and in the champions league quarterfinal so yeah that'll be it um that's going to do it for today thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye